Welcome back to Shark Games. Today I'm going to show you guys how you can easily make a patrolling enemy in Unity. A patrolling enemy is a classic enemy that will walk from one side of a platform to the other side and then turn around once they reach the end. You can think of enemies like Koopas, a Mario, or the Tick Tick in Hollow Knight. Also, this video is part of my 2D platformer tutorial series. However, you can obviously use it for any other game you want. Now before we get started, only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed. So if you are enjoying this video, please consider liking and subscribing to my channel since it helps me out greatly. Alright, so I have this very simple demo scene with a player that can move around. The player has a simple health system and he will die once the health reaches zero. If you want to know how to make these things, you can check out my 2D platformer series in the description. On the right side of the scene, I have placed a zombie with an idle animation. This will be the enemy that we will be moving. I will leave links to all sprites in the description. Let's go into our scripts folder and create a new c -sharp script. I'll call this enemy patrol. Then drag and drop it onto our zombie object. Now open up the script. First I'll remove the libraries that we're not using and then I'll create a serialized field private float called speed, a private bool called is facing right which will set equal to true, a serialized field private transform called ground checker and then a serialized field private float called check distance. I make the speed and ground checker variables private with a serialized field before it so we can easily edit these variables in an inspector without having to make them public. Now go back into Unity. I'll create an empty child game object under the zombie and call this ground checker. Now place the ground checker object in front of the zombie, a little bit above the ground. We will be using this object to check if there is any ground in front of the enemy. If there is, then he will continue walking. If there isn't any ground, then he will turn to the other direction. Add a new serialized field private layer mask variable called layer mask. This will be the layer mask that we will be checking. Now go into the update function. In here I'll say transform.translate, which will be vector 2.right multiplied by speed multiplied by time.delta time. We multiply by time.delta time to make the game frame rate independent. I'll create a raycast hit 2D called ray, which is set equal to physics 2D.raycast from origin ground checker.position, direction will be vector 2.down. The distance will be check distance and the layer mask will be the layer mask. Then I'll check if there is no rate of collider, so if rate of collider is equal to false. And if that's true, then I'll set is facing right equal to the opposite of is facing right. Then I'll create a new if statement if is facing right is equal to true. And I'll set transform.euler angles equals vector 3.0. Else I'll set transform.euler angles equal to a new vector 3 of 0, 180 degrees, and 0. Alright, now let's get back into Unity. So check distance to a small number like 2 or 1.5 and set speed to something like 1. Finally, let's set the layer mask variable to our ground layer. If you now test it out, you can see that the zombie will walk forward until he has reached the end of the platform. However, when he reaches the other end, he will get stuck on the wall. So let's fix that. First, copy and paste the ground checker object, change its name to forward checker and add a 2D box collider. Make the collider a bit smaller and move the object in front of the ground checker object, but not too far in front of it. I'll create a new c -sharp script called patrol checker and add the script to the forward checker object. Open the script. First, remove the libraries we're not using and then create a private enemy patrol variable called enemy patrol. It might look different in the video because I used different class names. Go into the start function and I'll set enemy patrol equal to get component to parent enemy patrol. Then I'll create a private void on trigger enter 2D with argument collider 2D called collision. I'll check if collision.compare tag is not equal to player, then I'll say enemy patrol.flip, which means that we're calling a flip function on our enemy patrol script. Let's go into the enemy patrol script and make this. Create a public void called flip and set is facing right equal to the opposite of is facing right. I go into the first if statement and call this flip function. Now go back into Unity, press play and test it out. You can see that the zombie will now flip whenever he reaches the end of the platform or when he hits a wall. Alright, now for the final part of this video, I'll make the zombie deal damage to the player when he collides with him. Create a new script called player damager and add it to the zombie object. This will be a very simple script. First, remove the libraries that we're not using. Then create a serialized field private int damage. Then create a private void on collision enter 2D for argument collision 2D called collision. Then I'll check if collision.gameobject.compare tag player, so if it is the player that we're colliding with, and if so, then we'll say collision.gameobject.getComponent player health health damage. Now go back into Unity and make sure that the damage value is a negative number. Alright, there you have it. We now have a simple 2D enemy who will walk until he has reached the end of the platform or until he hits a wall. When he collides with the player, he will deal damage. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. 
If you did, then please consider liking and subscribing because this really helps me out. Anyway, that was it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.